and a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football you've got to say my name is Derek Ray positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me ready to give you all the analysis is Stuart Robson and no question this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing it's Portugal versus Germany well thanks Derek as always the scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Jonas Hofmann plays with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the focal point in attack today, Timo Werner. And they kick off here. Rafael Leao and a strong tackle Hoffman now with Kera here's Hoffman this looks promising real chance and a goal it is no long wait for the opener today Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So, back underway. Having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Fernandes top class defending not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play throw in to come Fernandes back with Silva Fernandes on to Silva can he find the net? Superb block. Hoffman. Now with Kimmich. An important interception. Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. On to Ronaldo. Well, this replay shows just how good Bernardo Silva is when he runs with the ball. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Yeah. 
So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. Well read to put an end to that attack. Joshua Kimmich. This is Müller. Hoffmann. Can they nudge in front? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Trying to pick out a teammate. And he failed to get it away properly. Danger averted for now. And here's Joshua Kimi. Now Muna. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Take it away. Zula and Kimmich Müller well, considerable progress made by Gundogan as the attack continues and a goal to re-establish their advantage just look at the celebrations Well, just look at this pass from Gundogan, and Muller wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. He's such a great player. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. There will be one minute added on at the end. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Bernardo Silva. Not to be this time. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the match begins. So underway once more. Germany with the lead. But this game far from being done and dusted. And they have possession again. Well, Thomas Müller capable of doing so many things out there on the pitch to help his team, and he's delivering in this one, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space, and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. He's using his strength to good effect. Unable to keep the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. to the advanced position Ronaldo options in the centre this could square the game and that's exactly what has transpired now that could be a massive turning point and momentum is with them Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then the finish from Bernardo Silva demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride.
Pepe. Silva. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Cancelo. Oh, a fine block. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Timo Werner. Leroy Zane. We're racing away here. Can they square the game? And given away. Under pressure. Can he do it? A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Joao Cancelo. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. That's useful play. Kimmich on the ball, Rudiger Leroy Zane now with Kimmich well, taking into account all the stoppages two minutes to be added on and there's the whistle they cannot be separated after 90 minutes Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Bernardo Silva. It's with Joao Cancelo. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Fernando Silva must take the lead here. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Leroy Zane. Raum. Well, chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Havertz! That is a tackle and a half. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Joao Cancelo. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? He 
has teammates around him. Kimi. Could be. And strike it. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Joao Felix. Here's Ronaldo. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? Joao Felix. Can he put them in front? He does. And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And Ronaldo's shot is then hit with such power. He's a top class player when he gets into those areas. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Good strength to keep the ball. Well, still time for them to level it. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Gnabry. Havertz! And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks. Here's Hoffman. I must say, this looks promising. Real chance. And a goal it is. No long wait for the opener today. Bernardo Silva. And it goes. The leveller. Thrilling stuff here. Can they nudge in front? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. This could square the game. Cancelo. Oh, a fine block. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. And given away. Under pressure, can he do it? A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? Joao Felix. He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Gnabry. Havertz! And a goal! Real excitement here. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, clinical as always, in front of goal. And he steps up to take the shot. 
Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. So lethal in front of goal. He's gone for the Panenka, but he might be wishing he hadn't. And the penalty converted here. So much pressure. If he fails to score, they lose. And it's gone in. Well, this could be the one. In it goes! That seals it! Well, under pressure, that's a very composed penalty. And over the course of the game, they just about deserved it.